Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo this Mel Physics set which is called Polarized Light. Inside there are three experiments. The first one is called Polarization 101, then Colorful Stress Patterns, and finally Polarized Light Mosaic. If this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Okay, now let's open it. Here's the inside. As usual, we've done quite a few of these Mel Physics before, so there are the three instruction pamphlets for each of the three experiments. Inside this bag will be needed for experiment one. This one's for number two. And the last experiment will be in this bag. For number three. There's also some extra parts, such as the wooden pieces. There's, tape. is this tape? Yeah, maybe tape. Instruction. Yes, another, another instruction booklet with just words and some safety guidelines. More, more wood. wood. And finally, more wood. And finally, a, a QR code for the Mel Physics app if you want to use it. That's all for the unboxings, and now we're going to get on to the experiments. Experiment number one. Polarization 101. The difficulty is one out of three. The danger is one out of three, so it should be very safe. And the duration is 10 minutes. Step number one. The dark films in this set are polarizing filters. When you cross two filters at different angles, you can observe changes in transparency. I'm going to open this up. Here are the two dark films. And when I cross them, does it change? Oh, wait, it does. Look, whoa, so look. I have two transparent films. When I put them at this angle, it's the same transparency, but if I turn one of them, if I rotate it, it gets darker. <laughs> Step two, let's assemble a special construction to reflect the light from your cell phone's flashlight. So here's where we'll need the cell phone, but first we need to assemble this thingy. We have the iPhone stand. I'm going to stand the iPhone like this. Oh, perfect. And we're yeah. removing the protective film on this piece, yeah. Here, we'll just pull and take it off. There we go. The protective film is gonna go over here and it's time to turn on the flashlight. There, there's the flashlight. Step three, as light reflects off a plastic object, its properties change. So rotating the filter causes changes in brightness. So if I put the filter like this, you can see that the plastic has light, right? But if I cover it, then the light over here on this side dims. Step four, Unlike plastics, metal objects don't affect light's properties when reflecting it. So we have aluminum foil, which I'm going to place over here. I'm going to get a plastic sheet and another one. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to make it dimmer and it doesn't work quite as well. So I think that's what they're trying to tell us here. Now for the next experiment. Number two, colorful stress patterns. Difficulty is two out of three, the danger is one out of three, and the duration is 20 minutes. Okay, step one. Let's assemble a simple holder for your polarizing filter. Step three, the glasses in your set are made with a similar polarizing filter. Glasses. Can I wear them? That's why the film in the frame should appear black when you look at it through your glasses. Can I look first? Oh, we need a polarizing filter. Where is it? Oh. Okay, 
Okay, oh, I wanted to do it. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. Wow. So when you put on the glasses, this plastic transparent sheet looks black. Step four, stretching the bag doesn't just change its form, it changes its optical properties. What bag? Where's the bag? This? Slowly straight. You broke it. Yeah. It said slowly. Not, not <laughs> hardly. Not, not roughly. You said slowly. Come on. <laughs> I broke the bag on accident. Okay, it's, that's fine. It didn't say roughly. It said slowly. Step five. Despite the fact that solid plastic objects already have their final shape, we can assume that they were stretched during production. This also changes their optical properties. So if this was stretched, and we put it here, wow, it, it looks like a rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Well, it also does look like a rainbow. So if I had stretched this bag correctly, uh, slowly, I can see how it, yeah, oh yeah, it does look like a rainbow too through these glasses. And lastly, a spoon. It doesn't look wow, like Wow, it does. Okay, put it on. Oh. Wait. Uh, whoa, yeah. It's a rainbow. Okay, but on to experiment number three. But when you stretch the bag, don't uh, do it roughly. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we're going to create a polarized light mosaic. Actually, we're either gonna create it or we're just gonna use this pattern. We're gonna create it with tape. Oh, yes, yes. The difficulty is one, the dangerous one. The duration is 20 minutes. Using different layers and angles and different numbers of layers, you can create all sorts of new colors with tape. We're gonna take the film, put it on this sheet. And now we're going to copy the template of the film. Here we have it. I laid six pieces of tape in a crisscross pattern, just like what this said to do. And I'm going to insert the film in the frame in front of the polarized film, like this. So now there are two films there. Whoa! What? Blue and yellow. It's blue and yellow. Oh, it is blue and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, our final thoughts. Brother, wh which one was your favorite experiment? My favorite was the... Um, I think it'll be the third one. The, the tape mosaic? Uh -huh. Yes, because the third experiment was also my favorite. Overall, the concept of this kit, Polarizing Lights, was not as interesting as the other Mel Physics kits where we had hydrophobic sand and cool infinity mirrors like this one. So I look forward to whatever comes next. Once again, if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye-bye! <laughs>